Actress Lori Nelson remains a timeless figure in entertainment, embodying qualities that have made her a symbol of the craft. Whether recalling the first movie or show you watched featuring her or considering what makes her a lasting presence, her influence is felt. Share your favorite memory or personal experience related to this classic actor in the comments below. Stay tuned for interesting stories, be they funny, surprising, or sad, as we delve deeper into Lori Nelson's journey. Keep watching this video for the revelations that await. During Hollywood's golden era, Lori Nelson was a shining actress who captivated audiences with her talent and charm. She starred in numerous films and television shows, bringing characters to life authentically and leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. Lori Nelson's rise to fame was swift thanks to her natural acting ability. Audiences loved her performances and she gained a dedicated following. She showcased her versatility by effortlessly taking on various roles in different genres. What makes Lori Nelson stand out is not just her talent, but also her role in breaking barriers for future actors and actresses. She paved the way for others in the industry. Overall, Lori Nelson's career was marked by talent, versatility, and lasting influence. Her ability to captivate audiences and portray characters made her a celebrated figure in Hollywood's history. Renowned for her exceptional prowess as an expert pistol shot, Lori Nelson left a lasting impression not only with her marksmanship, but also with her unique sense of style. The Hollywood circles quickly noticed her when, in 1955, Ford Motor Co. introduced the Thunderbird, a groundbreaking addition to the car world. Lori wasted no time in getting one of the earliest models, showing her love for innovation and elegance. Originally painted in a classic white color, Lori decided to inject her distinctive personality into the Thunderbird. Choosing a custom canary yellow paint job, she turned her car into a symbol of individuality, setting herself apart from others. This bold choice perfectly captured her preference for standing out, not just on the big screen, but also in her daily life. The Thunderbird, with its sleek design and colorful appearance, became a symbol of Lori's association with style and sophistication. It was more than just a way to get around, it reflected her unique taste and confidence. Whether cruising down Sunset Boulevard or attending glamorous Hollywood events, her Thunderbird became an extension of her persona, solidifying her status as a standout personality. Her bond with a Thunderbird not only highlighted her love for aesthetics, but also showcased her free-spirited approach to life. Lori Nelson's ability to make a statement, whether on screen or through her choice of a canary yellow Thunderbird, remains an important part of her story. Lori Nelson, known for her roles in Bend of the River and Revenge of the Creature, alongside Julia Adams, made a big impression on the silver screen. Her acting in Bend of the River as Margie Bale showed how versatile she was, while her part in Revenge of the Creature showed she was great in classic horror movies too. With Adams, she really caught people's attention with her talent and charm. In 1955, she was chosen as a Deb star, showing she was becoming a big deal in Hollywood. Critics and fans loved her performances, making her very popular. Even after she died, people still remember her because of the characters she played and what she did for the entertainment world. After she died, her family decided to cremate her, keeping her ashes close to them. Even though she's gone, Lori Nelson's work is still loved by fans and remembered by those who enjoyed watching her on screen. Her influence in cinema is something that will always be remembered. This text was, In Day the World Ended, Lori Nelson plays Louise Madison, who keeps a picture of her deceased boyfriend, director Roger Corman, by her bed. In 1956, she was named National Poppy Girl by the Veterans of Foreign Wars. She was also interviewed in Tom Weaver's book, They Fought in the Creature Features. Her portrayal of Louise Madison stands out in the film, depicting a character deeply attached to her past. As the national poppy girl, she earned recognition for supporting veterans. Her insights in Tom Weaver's book offer valuable perspectives on her career. Lori Nelson's involvement in cinema and her recognition in various spheres show her significance in the industry. Actress Lori Nelson, known for her role as Margie Bale in the film Bend of the River, had a unique taste for snacks, favoring popcorn and peanut butter over champagne and caviar. Her debut movie, Bend of the River, introduced her to audiences, marking the beginning of her acting career. In the same year, Julie Adams took the female lead in Jack Arnold's Creature from the Black Lagoon, with Lori Nelson appearing as Adams' sister in the film. Nelson later secured the female lead in the sequel, Revenge of the Creature, released in the following year. 
These roles helped establish her presence in the film industry. Lori Nelson, known for her role as Louise Madison in Day, The World Ended, starred alongside Paul Blaisdell, who crafted the monster for the film using foam rubber and claws from a magic shop. Blaisdell's limited visibility in the costume led to challenges, especially when he had to carry her, almost causing him to drown when the costume filled with water during filming. In the early 1950s, 19-year-old Debbie Reynolds and Lori were frequently linked with Tab Hunter by fan magazine reporters. Reynolds later became engaged to Eddie Fisher, shifting the spotlight to Lori as Hunter's primary studio dating partner. Following the success of Rebel Without a Cause, Natalie Wood was paired with Hunter by Warner Brothers, leading her to engage Hunter's agent, Henry Wilson, to meet Robert Wagner, another of Wilson's clients. Universal Pictures considered the names Dixie Walker and Dixie Nelson before finally deciding on Lori Nelson. As a child, she toured veterans' hospitals, bringing joy to those who served. At five years old, she won the title of Little Miss America in a nationwide contest sponsored by the Screen Children's Guild. Her charm and talent delighted audiences wherever she went. Lori's early experiences in the spotlight shaped her into the beloved figure remembered fondly by many. From entertaining troops to winning national awards, her journey remains an inspiring example in the entertainment world. In Revenge of the Creature, Laurie Nelson portrayed Helen Dobson. Director Jack Arnold employed a unique technique, utilizing the sides of the screen akin to a theater's arches. An unexpected moment occurs when Professor Cleet Ferguson ventures outside the motel, seeking Helen's missing dog. From the right side of the screen, a hand reaches out, startling both him and the audience. It's not the feared Gill man, but Laurie Nelson herself. The scene where the creature abducts Helen Dobson was filmed at the Lobster House in Jacksonville, Florida. Unfortunately, the restaurant met its demise in a fire a few years after the movie's production. Lori Nelson, known for her roles in various films and television shows, had a surprising connection to a tragic event. In 1955, while filming Revenge of the Creature, she narrowly escaped a serious accident on set. During a scene involving a creature breaking through a glass aquarium, the glass unexpectedly shattered, causing injuries to several crew members. Fortunately, she escaped unharmed, but the incident left a lasting impression on her and those involved. Her career spanned across multiple genres, from westerns to science fiction. She gained recognition for her roles in films like All I Desire and Ma and Pa Kettle at the Fair. In addition to her work in film, she also appeared in popular television shows such as The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet and The Lone Ranger. Despite facing challenges in her personal life, including a battle with cancer, she remained dedicated to her craft. She continued to pursue acting opportunities, leaving a lasting impression on audiences with her talent and perseverance. Tragically, she passed away in 2020, leaving behind memorable performances and a reminder of the fleeting nature of life in the entertainment industry.